If there was a day that would define dog days of summer, it might have been today. Yes, but where does that term come from? And what happens to the crops at the U? Good questions. Here's Heather Brown. Ever notice when moths swarm a bright light? Lexi did. She wants to know, why are moths attracted to light? Boy, I don't know. That's a very good question. It's okay, the scientists don't know it either. <laughs> I'm in good company. But we don't want to leave Lexi hanging, so here are some theories. That moths see the bright light and they think it's either the moon to help them navigate, or maybe they think it's morning. Well, either way, their bodies just can't adjust to the light, they get confused, and they can't get themselves out of there. Julie from Moundsview happened to notice all of the corn near the U St. Paul campus. So she asks, what does the U of M do with its crops? Does anyone get to eat this corn? Well, this corn probably will go to feed cows. But some goes on the open market. We either sell it because of much of what we do in research, we fund with the, with the income we get from price. So it helps support students and research. And the rest ends up in the lab. If you go to some researchers, you can see desks full of corn that's broken half and they're looking at different things. Mike from Monticello wants to know, why is it called the dog days of summer? Memphis, Tennessee gets hot like this. Have you ever seen a dog when it's really hot and sweaty and kind of sprawled out. Yeah, and Mississippi too. That's kind of what we all feel like today. Yeah, that's how I'm feeling. But dog days actually have nothing to do with man's best friend. The uh, c constellations and the stars. I think one of them's a dog. Instead, it's related to the dog star, Sirius, which is the brightest star visible from Earth at night. The dog days are the time period when the sun is in the same region of the sky as Sirius. The Greeks and Romans thought the dog star might give the sun a little extra heat. Turns out it's not true, though. Uh, probably not at all. They're over. They're over. And the dog days usually last through July and the beginning of August. We missed them. <laughs> I know, it's okay. I don't want to believe summer's over yet. No, not yet. That's right. It's not over. If you have a good question for Heather, please email it by going to wcco.com slash links.